Hello, this is like a review, doing the review on the Republic Gunship. This set is for ages 9 through 14. It has 1,034 pieces. And it is $119.99 US dollars. Which is a bit overpriced for what it is. Now let's take a look at the miniature figures. Here's Obi-Wan Kenobi. Pretty detailed. Comes with a blue lightsaber. Here's Plo Kloon. Also comes with a lightsaber. His head's rubbery. So, and these things move. Here's your average clone. Pretty detailed. He has a tan head instead of the black head that episode 3 clones have. Here's Commander Cody. Very detailed. Has a flip up visor. Has two pistols. He comes with a comma and a skirt. He also has a tan head. Here's Essa's Ventress. She has like a cloth skirt. And there's a different lightsaber. They're curved. Which is pretty cool. Um, her head is very detailed, as you can see here, even the back. Lego did a really good job designing each and every one of these miniature figures. They're very detailed. The set also comes with an extra skirt, an extra comma, A visor, two of Commander Cody's pistols, a rangefinder, and floodlights. Now let's move on to the gunship. It's very detailed, although it does have a lot of stickers. It has a sticker here, it has a sticker. Here, it has a sticker on the wing, right here, and it has these three triangles, here, here, and here. It's the same on the other side. There's also a sticker here, and there's a sticker here on the cockpit. The gunship also has many features. These cockpits open, although they do fall off a lot. This one opens too. Aside, if we open this up, comes out this cool little command center here. Pretty cool. It's detailed. It has a sticker here, though. It just slides in here like this. If we open this up, out comes a Bakta tank. The Bakta tank is very detailed, and it also opens and closes. These just lock it in there. It has these guns here that rotate around. But sometimes break off if you play with them too much. 
It also has a rotating one in the back, too. And it has this very, very detailed speeder bike. On the top here, we have eight flick fire missiles, which is pretty cool. On the wings here, we have some cockpits for gunners. They do fall off a lot. And one on the other side as well. There's also large troop area here where we could put like any clones in here. It holds four clones this way or miniature figures. Same on the other side. You can put a guy in here in this little spot over there. Also on the gunship, there are many compartments, such as this one. You open this up, and it has two spy droids. They're pretty cool. Also, there's a nice compartment in the back. It's a good touch, but really you can't put anything in there. This is a great set. I give it a B plus. Um, if you get the money, I would go and buy it. Again, it's ages 9 through 14. It's 1,034 pieces. And it's $119.99 US dollars. Which is a bit overpriced. Lego gives you five very detailed miniature figures. It is a bit fragile. This has been Lego Reviews doing the review on the Republic gunship. Please rate and comment. More reviews will be coming soon. Thanks for watching.